Mel BC, Andrew Castle with you. It's Saturday morning, 22nd of February. Talking about uh, Greater Manchester now and the cladding on high-rise buildings in uh, in, in that uh, great city. I'll be with the Mayor of Greater Manchester in just uh, one second, but what is the reality about living in a high-rise in Greater Manchester? Anastasia Frost is uh, with me and she can tell me all about that. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Well, I'm very well, thank you. Is it Anastasia or Anastasia? Anastasia. Anastasia. So tell me what it's like to live in a high-rise in, in Manchester at the moment. Are you concerned about uh, the, 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 the situation and what's on the outside of the building or, or how do you feel? Yes, we are very concerned. We're property owners of a flat in Manchester city centre and we have found out about um, two years ago that we've got cladding on two sides of the building and also at the minute we've got waking, walking watchmen 24-7 at uh, hours a day because our fire alarm doesn't pass the current regulation so it's quite frightening and also very stressful financially i was going to say uh, who pays for the watchman if if, if the if the alarms aren't up to standard so that started in December. We haven't had a bill yet, but the building owner is insistent that leaseholders will be paying for that measure. All right. You're just going to have to, I, I suppose, uh, take, take that. I hope that moves on uh, quickly. Um, you said you got money, money issues. Presumably it's a mortgaged property. Yes, it is a mortgaged property. Have you tried to remortgage with this cladding on the outside of the building? So we have been able to remortgage, but that was before all of this came to light. So in two years' time, when it comes to remortgaging again, it will definitely be an issue. And I know some of our neighbours have wanted to sell their property and they haven't been able to do so because of the cladding. Right. OK. I mean, who wants to buy a, a property with all of this going on? So there's a great deal yeah. of uncertainty and you're concerned about uh, about the... Um, the, the building safety aspects as well. It's a very difficult situation, uh, Anastasia, and and you would like some answers, wouldn't you? What what are the questions that you want answers to? Definitely. So there are several different questions. First of all, why were these buildings built this way? Why was why did they pass the regulations? And second of all, what help is there for us from the government since the regulations have been changed financially? All right, well, I'm going to put those uh, questions now. Well, Anastasia Frost, thank you, uh, Greater Manchester High Rise resident with some very clear concerns there. Uh, Andy Burnham is Mayor of Greater Manchester and, uh, and joins us now. Thanks for being with us on LBC again, Andy. You're welcome, Andrew. Morning. Morning. Um, I don't, did you hear what um, Anastasia was concerned about there? Y yes, I did. Okay. I, I did, and it's shared by, um, by thousands of other people, actually, around the country. Um, she's got some, some questions, obviously, about the, the sale of the property going forward, the possibility of not being able to remortgage. But ultimately, um, I, I think she's probably worried about the safety of these things. Have you got unsafe uh, high rises in Manchester? We do. Uh, we've just done a survey of residents in buildings with cladding, uh, Andrew, and um, about uh, seven in ten are saying that it's a worry for them and it's affecting their mental health. So that they're worried about the fire risk. But as you've just heard... They've also got a big bill, uh, so they've got the financial uh, worry as well. It's like a uh, you know a perfect storm of stress that they, they're kind of facing from every angle. Their lives have been completely ruined uh, by this situation, and they're in a sort of limbo at the moment. You know, they just it's not resolved, and they're just living this limbo uh, existence every day. So the message is a clear one um it's only the government uh, andrew that can sort this out and it's why i'm leading a lobby of parliament on on tuesday with the mayor of salford uh to call on the government to intervene in the budget and give these residents the peace of mind they deserve well there must be a lot of people involved i was up at media city uh, a few weeks back and i walked from media city into um, the, the center of the city and i really enjoyed myself as well the contrast between the old industrial buildings and these high rise is uh, going up is, is amazing. I hope you're going to be able to fill all these uh, all, all these places. But you know, there's an awful lot of people um, who are uh, who, who are affected by this. Have we got any idea how many people are living in buildings with unsafe cladding? Uh, we think uh, there's about 80 buildings in Manchester that we are concerned uh, about. Um, 57 with cladding, but others with other safety concerns. Uh, Andrew, so yeah, the buildings do look great around Manchester and Salford, but. 
they've got to be safe, haven't they? There's just no getting away uh, from. But from who's that. Re- is that government responsibility to say yes, they're unsafe, and you know, here we go. Here is X amount of money for the mayor to spend, or, or you know, do you want them to move in? I mean, I, it's such a vast project. It's it's got to take years to do all this. <laughs> That's right. It's so complex that I would say it's beyond uh, organisations at a local level. Um, it can only be solved by national government. Now, they, to be fair, Andrew, they have to a degree uh, intervened. So they intervened in respect of the ACM cladding. That was the Grenfell uh, style cladding. And a fund was set up and that, that has largely been removed um, around the country. But you might remember and your listeners might remember a dreadful fire in Bolton late last year at a student block um, where it was very reminiscent of Grenfell and that was a different type of cladding Um, but clearly uh, no no safer than the Grenfell Well it may not even be the cladding, it's the way that it's put on to to the building and the gaps and 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 it can be the installation, all of this is, is still under investigation isn't it? It is, and we're waiting. We're about to publish the, the investigation report into that Bolton fire. But I remember being at that site, and you're right. The cladding was kind of straight on top of fiberglass and a wooden frame. I mean, it just you know, right. it just looked terrible. So, yeah, you're, you're you're absolutely right. And I think in the end, government of all colours over the years has culpability because regulations have been weakened, yeah. uh, and that is why buildings have been built in this way. Yeah. And it's why government needs to intervene. Andy Burnham is the mayor of Greater Manchester.